So how can you improve your worm farm in three simple steps? Well, I'm gonna show you how in this video. So one of the things about worm farming is getting the balance right. We need bedding, food source, and moisture. And obviously warmth plays a huge factor. The worm farms get too hot or too cold, they're not gonna perform. But how do we improve them in three simple steps if you're already up and running? Well, you may want to introduce more carbon into your worm farm so it soaks up that material, soaks up anything that's breaking down and stops things from getting more funky and that carbon becomes compost and the worms actually eat it as well. The second thing is, if you're not doing this already, is a worm blanket which you can use such as a piece of cardboard that's wet down, they'll eat that, they'll turn that into worm castings, they'll become a part of the bedding and eventually you'll be able to put it on the plants. Now, one of the secrets, and if you've been watching my channel for quite a long time, you would know that jute carbon fiber, what we call hessian fiber in Australia, is amazing stuff. Now, it's really hard to get hold of now. So if you can get hold of some that doesn't have any type of like paint or varnish or anything on it, then it's really great material. It's organic, it breaks down, it's fibrous, and the worms absolutely love it. And you can put it into like a layer like that where two get on top of each other. Once you start wetting it down with the drench coming out of your worm farm, putting that bacteria back onto it, it'll eventually start breaking down. Oh, that's a bit noisy there. Throw it in underneath. And it'll eventually start breaking down. And the worms will get in it, they'll move through it, they'll slide along it. And anything that's artificial, they won't touch that. So if there's anything in there, you can just remove that later on. But they absolutely love it. They lay their cocoons between the fibers, on the fibers, and in between the blankets like that. And they go in there and breed and wrap around each other and do their thing in there so they can lay more cocoons. So there's three ways to make your worm farm even better. Introduce more carbon, which could be more newspaper, cardboard, uh, small wood chips, sticks, things like that. Just be careful with the garden though. Don't bring in any mites in. And you know, what I like to use is sugar cane. And you can see the link up there in the description if you haven't seen it already about super bedding and making the Taj Mahal worm farm. And then, you know, your cardboard that's nice and wet down and put your jute blanket on top and you got a killer worm farm. Anyway, let you know, let me know. I said, let you know. <laughs> let me know what you think about that in the comments box down below. Love to hear your thoughts on it. Have you used it before? Have you had success with it? And have you been using been doing the sugarcane method worm farm? I'd love to know if you're using it too. Have a great day, happy worm farming, and we'll see you at the next video slash vlog real soon. Bye for now.